Greetings, my people. This is Okute Daily Talk, bringing to you this afternoon news of today's date, the 18th day of October in the year 2022. Let's go straight into the business of the day. We have no hands in the recent killings of security agencies in Biafra land. This is IPOP speaking. Let's hear what they got to tell us. We have no hands in the recent killings. In a view of the recent murder of the four Nigeria soldiers in Enugu State, as those in Anambra State, which were accompanied by the most reckless and senseless accusations against IPOP as being behind the attacks. Why must these people keep on accusing IPOP any time something happened? If this kind of thing happened in the North, they will tell you investigation will be carried out. But if any single thing happened in the city, in the east, without any single atom of uh, reality or even any kind of investigation, the, uh, the, 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 the bottom line is, is IPOP, is IPOP. What have IPOP done to Nigerian government? Is it the IPOP the cause of the economy downfall? Is it the IPOP the cause of the inflation we are having in the country that they have heated? over 27 percent plus is it the ipob the one that inaugurated the killings in the northeast and northwest to the extent that the boko harams now collect taxes in various uh, 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 local governments in the north in the north is that the ipob is that the ipob that destroyed the insecurity in nigeria other than the government that instigated all what had the IPOP done to Nigerians? That is my question. And I deserve to know an answer. Why must everything be IPOP? The unknown government are their killings. It's IPOP. The DSS are forming unknown government killing. They call IPOP. DSS are the one that is bandits and criminals. They call IPOP. What is the matter with Nigerian government? That is the question. It has become very imperative. To caution the Nigerian army and government to desist from such unfunded and false accusations against the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP. One of uh, such irresponsible and false accusations is contained in a viral video from a Nigerian army personnel who was heard openly mentioning IPOP by name in the said video trending online. See, can you imagine it? This is all the work of Malami. No, any other person. This is the all the work of Malami and uh, President Muhammad Buhari. Buhari will hide under Malami and be committing atro atrocities. And people will be calling Malami Malami. Malami have no any single power. The person who has the power to be doing all this is the president of the nation. So let's tell ourselves the truth to know how we are going to tackle the issues. It is a common phenomenon that Nigerian government and their security agencies are quick to point accusing fingers at IPOP within minutes of any attack in the East without investigation. It is surprising that they haven't linked IPOP to the insecurity ravaging the northern Nigeria, of course. We understand that these are part of their cheap blackmail against the movement even when the state mastermind, mastermind most of these attacks, of course. Of course, they mastermind. The, the, the prison break in a in Imo state is masterminded by Hope Uzodema and, and his allies. And they know why they did that, just to blackmail IPOP. The prison uh, break in Kuje is masterminded by uh, the so-called uh, Boko Haram and the uh, insurgents. But none have ever come out and said, this one is Boko Haram's. Instead, they said they are bandits. What can we do of all this, their blackmail against the IPOP? That is the question we have to be asking ourselves. And we need to do something about it before things get out of hand. If the government is not behind the attacks, how come they know the attackers within minutes, without investigation? Of course, that is the gospel truth. It happened uh, when, uh, when, when the, the, the jailbreak in Oware. The, the Inspector General of Police then, without even under 30 minutes of the attack, he, come and, he came on the national TV and said the uh, IPOP masterminded the, the prison break. No any investigation, 
nothing or whatsoever they have done they keep calling ipop 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 that ipop is the one that will kill all of you one by one how come they cannot predict the many unresolved murder cases in nigeria with the global movement and the family of the indigenous uh, people of biafra ipop under the command and leadership of the libretto mazi namde okechuku kanu condemned the reckless murder of nigerian soldiers but at the same time Caution the Nigerian army to stop accusing IPOP members falsely. We are not responsible for the attacks and killings of the soldiers in the Southeast at any time, at any day. IPOP are not killers and they are not known for killings. We are peace loving people who love mankind and who love uh, humanity. So anyone attributing any kind of killings to the IPOP does that out of hatred and they cheap blackmailing. So you people should get that into your thick skull. Forget, leave IPOP alone so that IPOP will leave people alone. IPOP is not killers. We are lovers of mankind. What we portray is love on daily basis. So let's get that straight. Nigerian army and their government are only carrying out media propaganda and blackmail against IPOP in an effort to stop the Biafra agitation. But they will fail. Nigerian government and their and their court know that IPOP is not involved in the killings and attacks on the security agents and its institutions. That is why no court in Nigeria have been able to convi convict any of the uh, prosecuted IPOP members. Yet, in Nigeria, government has uh, continued arresting, persecuting, and extrajudicially executing IPOP members while unconditionally releasing and compensating northern terrorists and bandits. That is the that is where the problem that is where the problem lies. Imagine releasing 101 inmates eh, of people who are deadly uh, Boko Harams from maximum prisons and fly them with a jet to Abuja. More attacks will happen soon. Nobody will call all these people yet. They will keep on calling IPOP, IPOP, and IPOP. What IPOP have done to them, I never know. There is Ududua Nation there. There's Ariwa Forum. Nobody have ever called them, despite the fact they are having their own challenges. But none of them have been attributed to any kind of mischief that happened within their territory. I weep for IPOP. We have remained, remained peaceful movement seeking for freedom and independence of Biafra people in spite of all the persecutions and provocations at the hand of the nigeria state but we shall not take any blackmail from the government just because they hate our result they hate our resolve to get biafra at all cost but most importantly through peaceful agitation that is where we stand the nigerian army must stop linking ipop with the killing of their men because of their evil agenda and hatred against Indigo and Biafra agitation, championed by Mazin Nam the Kano and IPOP members, by tagging every Igbo man and woman as IPOP and ESM members, the Nigerian government and its security apparatus have created the enabling ground to justify their ongoing extrajudicial executions of Igbo people, which simply amount to ethnic cleansing, more so. Their decision to make some of their soldiers on duty in Biafra land expandables to achieve their evil plan and justify their military siege and assault to the unarmed people is a state of a sponsored terrorism, of course. The more the Nigerian terrorists sponsoring government and their compromised army try hard to blackmail IPOP, the more they rob their integrity in the mud. That is the gospel truth. The viral video of the Nigerian army personnel openly accusing IPOP of being responsible for the death of four of their men in Enugu State recently is nothing but a cheap blackmail. We demand an international and independent investigation on all killings going on in Biafra land so as to unmask the killers and their sponsors. That is what we are going to do and it will happen very soon. As for us in IPOP and ESN, our hands are clean from all the government accusations. We take respons responsibility for our actions. Our focus 
is to get rid of terrorists in our forests and our bushes who are raping our women, killing our farmers, and destroying our farms. One killing on killing of uh, security men and burning institutions in Biafra land, the Nigerian government and her foot soldiers should be held responsible for all this. And that is the simple truth. My good people of Biafra land, the lovers of freedom and lovers of mankind, this is the news I brought to all this afternoon. Because I saw this news left by the fact that it's not much. But I feel my people need to know and also need to be aware of what the Nigerian government have been doing on daily basis, accusing the IPOP of any single thing that happened in the East. Despite the fact that we are peace loving people, we are peace loving people, we love mankind, we do not engage in any extrajudicial killing as they are doing. We are not mamming and we are not raping women. All we do is Biafra agitation in a peaceful manner. Despite the fact that the government has been trying in one way or the other to blackmail the IPOPs, but we are not going to give up because Tuko Kia Biama is with us and always will be with us. We are going to overcome every blackmailing from the Nigerian government and its food soldiers that they have been sending to blackmail the, the IPOP community. We are the peace loving people and we keep maintaining peace at any time, at any day. Nothing will change us and nothing will stop. Or nothing will change our narratives. Our only narratives and our only crime is we are agitating for the independence of Biafra, which is give us Biafra and, re and the release of uh, Mazen Nam Nikano. My good people of Biafra land, this is where I will bring the end to this small broadcast. Until you hear my voice again, I see remain your one and only Okute Daily Talk. Please remember how we used to do it. Subscribe to my channel, like and share my contents to your family and friends, to your colleagues in the office. If you are a student, share it with your fellow students so that they will be among in, in this moving train because we are moving to, in the right direction, the right direction which is the independence of Biafra until we meet again in my next broadcast. Bye for now. Game